So you're going to make quite a nice little uh, quiet ascent of the footpath. Um, we'll probably just get up onto the first tier where through the trees where it's uh, just sort of slacks off a bit. It's not quite so steep. Um, set the gear up and then move our way through the woodland and then out onto the open tarn and see what we can see. Never know, could be a really good night for it. So we'll just have a nice little chat while we're on the way up. Um, I'm going to post some pictures later of three beautiful nut hatches. Uh, I've been watching these nut hatches um, phew, probably for about for about a month now, I think. And finally, bird tables paid off. Oh, the mass confusion of bird tables and coconut husk bottoms and so forth. Um, I've been filling them up every day. And uh, today, or tonight, just before we came out, managed to get a shot of um, mum, dad, and the little baby nuthatch. And uh, mum was feeding him. Her. So yeah, it looked absolutely beautiful. So I'll just spin you around, give you a view of the potential wildlife area. Isn't that just beautiful? Now this is a beautiful little section. We're going to come out onto a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful little waterfall. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Wowza. Yeah, wowza. Look at that, that plunge pool, absolutely beautiful. Right, now I don't want to, uh, I don't want to lose the opportunity, so I'm going to make the gear up uh, just on the top of this bend, because as we pass through these trees, it should open up, it will open up, into the, uh, into the, uh, open space of the tarn. This is where we're heading. Right. Okay, so uh, we're going to make the kit up now and then we'll sneak in. So we're going to move back a bit. I think we'll head down this way. Just check these trees are all to the right. It's a good opportunity to uh, look backwards as well. Because you never know what could just be watching you. Even at a distance, you can still grab a shot. A bit of hopscotching. Oh, nice, look at that blue water. Look at that blue water. Look at that brown water. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those lilies. To be honest with you, we're going to get a shot of that. Really do like that. Okay, so... So yeah, I'll just show you this, uh, show you this piece of kit. So basically, it's just a stuff bag. With a hole in the bottom for the lens. Perfectly waterproof. We had a little bit of a technical issue there. Uh, I didn't quite realise it, but uh, the camera had uh, locked up. Uh, probably missed some of the intro into uh, into the. So water. this is uh, just looking at the outfeed water or the uh, yeah. the tarn, and then and it's over there. So I was just saying when we came out the edge of the track here, just be careful. There's nothing on the track like any deer. You could just scare them away. So we just got to keep our eye in the background and any open spaces. So yeah, let's uh, let's move on out towards the top. It's 
So guys, how beautiful is that? Absolutely awesome. We could just do with a lovely little dipper or a, uh, a wagtail just dancing there in the water. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Uh, sadly, there isn't anyone playing around in the water. Okay, so we've just found this uh, great little log uh, to sit on. Uh, it's just by the, uh, where well, you can see there, just looking down. It's just on the fringe of the woodland. So we can get a really good view uh, of, the, uh, of the tarn and also all the ground behind. So I'm hoping that we blend it in quite well. We're probably going to have a Ribena in a minute, I think. These, anyway. midges, uh, these midges need feeding, so got to keep their strength up. The midges are quite bad now. <laughs> We're really, uh, really buckling down now. <laughs> Just got this little piece open. It is so beautiful though. Absolutely so calm, so beautiful. All you can just hear is the sheep in the background. Just, just so still, beautiful. Something's got to arrive. It's got to. Well, back in the van, guys. Um, it's been a fantastic evening. Uh, very midgy. Uh, sadly to say, uh, we didn't capture any wildlife whatsoever. But we got some really, really nice landscape shots. I took a couple uh, really sort of interesting shots um, with the Sigma 150 600 of the waterfall, which I'll show you in the video. Um, yeah, so we've enjoyed it. Uh, it's been really good. Not more can say. It's been a beautiful evening.